We are in a campsite called Daisy Bank. Daisy Bank, which is situated between Bishop's Castle and um, Church Stoke on the 489, I think it was, wasn't it? The A489. We're here. Yep. It's a lovely part of uh, what Powys. We're actually in Wales on the border of Shropshire. Um, and we've come out of the campsite, turned left, and taken the third right, and we're skirting these hills here. Corndon Hill we know quite well, because that's the other side here is Mitchell's Fold. But the views here across the, uh, how do you pronounce it? It's the river. <laughs> yeah, Clam Ad Valley. That's we'll put right. it on. <laughs> Cam Lad, Cam, Cam Lad Valley. Yes which is where the river runs here. So at the moment, we're about here. We're just going around this bend. And over there, you can see over towards, um, I think that's south. So Wales to, to your right, maybe a bit in the centre there. And then as we pan round, we're actually going down to South Shropshire and Herefordshire. And even on a misty, cloudy day, the views are absolutely beautiful along this road. Codless Hill, this is. As we come round there, you're looking at Flan 4 and Corndon, which is, you can see in the distance there, it goes round a bit. And there's also, there's lots of um, castle rings, cairns, um, tumuli, and um, what do they call it? The fort and where they have the, um, they raise the land up and put the fort on the top in wood. Mott and Bailey. Mott and Bailey. Yeah, there are, on the, in this part of the world, there are, they're just everywhere. What are now the borders of Wales and England? I guess they weren't then, but... Um, no. So it is an amazing area, for his, historically. And it's still working, it's a working area. There's lots of farms, so it's nice to see. Like Devon, really, that was yeah, nice, because it was nice. working. And it's the same Shropshire Welsh borders. It's all working land. So um, it is lovely to cycle around. See all the wildflowers. And there's going to be a lot of blackberries here. <laughs> <laughs> Come uh, September, I've seen wild lavender, honeysuckle, some here. I've never seen lavender in the wild before, but there was some today. We passed it. Um, foxgloves. And those ox, is it oxide days? It's lovely. Yes. Yeah. So we'll carry on a bit. That left hand turn obviously is a dead end. 
Yeah, this is this road goes round Roundton. There should be a little lane off to the right with a car park, according to this, anyway. It's so quiet. It's quite warm and the sun's coming out. Yep. Oh, sunshine. Hooray. Hooray. Look at that. And the sun has shone. And the mist has gone. seem to want to fly. I suppose because the little ones won't. Somebody's found it. Got the nose is here. Dominated the summit two thousand years ago. It was roughly oval in shape and was enclosed by a single earth and stone rampart which was constructed to link with several natural rock outcrops. It was one to two metres high and 12 metres wide in places, with one entrance. Wow. Pretty impressive place. The enclosure was roughly 160 by 100 metres. Flints have been discovered and a fragment of a blade from two to 4,000 years ago. It's a fortified settlement, obviously. They grew grain, which they ground by hand to make bread. They brewed beer. From barley, grew their own vegetables and had a varied mix of protein from beef, horse, mutton, pork, milk and cheese. It was supplemented throughout the year with birds, eggs, fruits, fungi, roots and honey. In medieval times it was probably used for grazing livestock. A small house platform alongside an irregular shaped enclosure on the northeast slopes provided evidence for this. It took an industrial turn in 1772 when it was mined for lead. The activity carried on for a hundred years and there's evidence of a tramway and other workings show that the workings were fairly extensive, mining the lead and barites. Barites were still happening in the 19th century. I told you there's a lot of history here. It's just there amazing. Is. It is. Isn't it?
Okay, and where have we come? We've come from this. Right. So you're doing a circuit? Yeah. I want to know what a tiny spring ephemeral is. We'll Google it. Should be looking that up. 